Hello, this is a video response to Bear Prepper. It's her one year anniversary and she's having a contest. And she asked us what we thought would cause SHTF. Well, definitely there are several things that could cause it. For one, it will be the economy that will be part of it. But now we're dealing with war. And I think we're seeing history repeat itself. I, When I was a child, I remember my grandfather told me, history repeats itself. And it certainly seems to do that. So now we've got all the saber rattling going on over Iran. This headline, it is Friday the 13th, January 2012. That's today's date. The undeclared war on Iran is heating up. I'm sure you've all heard that about the assassination of one of their scientists. So it looks like this is definitely in the making and it's not too far out. Of course, if we get into a war with Iran, you know what that's going to do the gas prices. And we all know how gas prices affect the economy. It's, it would be rough. It would be rough. Alright, let's, let's talk about what some of the things our government has done because they know something's going to happen. And they're prepared for it. Let's just say, let's just put the war thing aside. And let's just say the economy continues to get worse. And people start rioting. Well, folks, there's not enough police and there's not enough room in the jail. So, the National Defense Authorization Act, okay, is, has been passed. Obama signed it on New Year's. And what it authorizes, it authorizes military on the street they can pick up people that are deemed terrorist and put you in a camp or a prison with no due process. All right, the next bill that's being considered. This is a new bill known as the Enemy Expatriation Act. It would allow government to strip citizenship without conviction. All right. They're currently considered in that. That is House Resolution 3166 and Senate 1698. Okay, moving on to the next one. This happened a couple years back. The Army's created a new job specialty called an internment resettlement specialist. Basically this is another name for correctional officer. Correctional officers work in prisons and jails. So you see all, all the pieces are put in place. They're ready. They're ready. Um, I would like to add, I know that all this stuff upsets people, but you got you got to remember that there are people, and they call them sleeper cells in, in other names, that probably are in this country, all right, and they they will be ready to blow things up, cause havoc. So the government's preparing for all of this, you know. And as if things weren't bad enough, Russian professor predicts the end of the US. He he made this prediction in two thousand eight. He is a Russian academic Igor Panarin, 
he used to be a former KGB analyst. Okay? And in this article, he predicted it to fall apart in 2010. Well, you know, it's hard to place dates on when things will happen because there's too many dynamics involved in everything. But he, he predicted the United States would break up. And this is his map. The blue area, right along here, he has dubbed the Texas Republic, will be part of Mexico or under Mexican influence. This area, Atlantic America, may join the European Union. The yellow, Central North American Republic, will be part of Canada or under Canadian influence. The California Republic will be part of China or under Chinese influence. Alaska will go to Russia. Hawaii will go to either Japan or China. Kind of scary to think about, isn't it? But the truth is, most people are so complacent in their lives. They don't think about the things that could happen. Now, this may be a few years on out. Who knows? But it doesn't look good. I think financially, the uh, America has gotten in over its head. We've gone past the tipping point. And another thing I'd like to say, too, is... There, I, I cannot foresee a, an invasion of the United States. We're all too well armed. So how do you break up the United States? You do it economically. So, anyway, I'd like to say, again, congratulations.